Hey everybody, hi, this is Dan Mullen, the managing broker of Exit Realty Solutions out of Griffith, Indiana, proudly serving Illinois and Indiana without fail. What we would like to do is just take a look at this to start with. I grew up living paycheck to paycheck, but through hard work and perseverance, I now live commission to commission. But we also have that other component other brokerages don't have and that's the sponsorship broker and we're going to cover a little bit of that when we uh unravel some of the things that happened this week uh it was a busy week it was something that quite honestly was uh foreseen the federal reserve did uh pause raising interest rates that was a good thing but let's get started with the fun stuff first. Um, stay out at Libby's office. Out uh, we're going to have a marketing and uh presentation. And it's going to be put on by Plan. And this might be the marketing solution that you're looking for to enhance your business awareness and to get your message out that you are not a secret agent to take a look at, and that would be on Tuesday, Tuesday 20th, it is 11 to 1, um, we're not bringing a breathalyzer or anything, I want you to have some fun, and I also want you to uh, bring a couple of outfits if you want to have a couple of headshots made, there is going to be a photographer for headshots, so if you'd like to plan your afternoon for in Tinley Park, it would be be great for you and your business to just show up. Moving on. Now, the big news this week was Jerome Powell uh, did stop raising interest rates to slow down the economy to reduce inflation. The whole circle is becoming a, becoming a little bit more clear, yet a little bit more cloudier. It is affecting the housing market, as you may know, and it's also affecting uh, our cycle, our real estate cycle. And we're going to go through a couple of things that you should be aware of because your customers are going to be asking a little bit more about what's going on, what what's going to happen in six months. You should have a certain idea of where we're at and where we're pretty much going. So that's why you see so he had his fun. Um, it did cause an increase in the stock market. It also uh, caused uh, mortgage rates uh, to drop a little bit. And it also uh, increased applications. And that's something that's important because applications is a forward moving average that we can take a barometer to. Uh, but interest rates are still a little bit high. It's still unusual for many customers, and it's something that if you were them, how would you feel is how you want to present this news. You got to use a little empathy with this because it is a stick of shock. Yeah, that's it. That's how it works. So when it doesn't work, it looks like this. Here in Chicago down here, this is the uh, Zillow Home Value Index uh, for May. This is the only current information that we have right now. Uh, uh, here in Chicago, and here, well, we don't have Northern Northwest Indiana as a choice. But overall, when you look at how bad things are in other areas and how well things are going, we're pretty much in the middle of the road very south. That tells us that we are closing values and are holding, but yet we can still we still feel the pain. They have come down. And for the overall economy, it had to happen. It is what it is. Now in Indiana, I'm trying to get the uh May updates. But what I do have available is the fact that inventory 
month supply is increasing, and that's got to help. Now, we all know good homes sell quickly. I think the play is going to be if they want to top that. We need to look to get that top line. Because they're just average, they're just average. It is what it is. But it's also looking like that door. Yeah. This is, these are some pretty brutal numbers. So when the numbers look like this, your opportunity for business is also increased. That's when you need to take a look at what else can you do for your income purposes? That helps. Uh, having additional income helps, uh, especially when it comes to uh, adding a niche to your business profile. Suppose you were to become like really good at for uh, foreclosures and short sales. It's coming. I mean, list out Illinois is number one, and by far. I mean. Um, one in 385 houses uh, as of the other numbers. One in 606, like seven here in Indiana. That tells me that there's a, uh, a, it's a specific group of people who need our help, and that's something that we can do. And it's going to be different than the last time we had a spike in foreclosures. Some of these people have equity in their homes. Some of these people are just financial failures. And you're going to see more financial failures going through the cycle of uh, bankruptcy and foreclosure. And you're going to see it's going to be different this time. So if you are interested in getting in front of some specialized training regarding foreclosures and short sales, talk to me or Libby. Uh, Libby is an attorney. I am a, uh, I helped create the SFS designation back when I was with Randwick in Arlington Heights. It was important because there were so many brokers who did not short sales, taking short sale listings and screwing these people out of their opportunities to help and it was really disturbing. So we did get the SFR. If you take a look in the records, there's a test for the FFR. The upper right hand corner, it says the number one in the city. It was my name on that list. That's how important it was for me to speak up and say, no, this is wrong. This is how we can help correct the situation. And, and this is what we do. Speak up when we see something. Need something, absolutely just say it and we'll get to it. Now, what I want to do with you for just two minutes is just take a listen to this. This is something that I honestly should have heard sooner in my career. This is Craig Witt, uh, president of uh, Exit. He is somebody that can provide good value back to our people, and that's what I'm here to do today. So, um, I want to start just really quickly by sharing with you how important this component is. You know, we talk about what's. Now, I just screwed that up, but that's okay. You can find it on the sponsoring process on the. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's just do this. I know exactly where to start to. Let's do this again. Income, and we're going to talk a little bit about that. Um, but overall, I want you to know that what you're getting ready to see is typically reserved for franchise owners and managers um, or people that are designated in the role of managing a brokerage that come to broker training. So unless you are somebody that buys a franchise, you typically don't get to see this information. It's not that it's secret. It's just that we can it, we deliver it in such a way that it's really designed to help our, our franchisees, our managing brokers, to really understand the recruiting process and to then help them teach their agents what the sponsoring process is, okay? You can see, uh, when I switch to this first slide here, the difference between st sponsoring and recruiting, okay? I am a firm believer that words matter. Grammar is important, your behavior is important, the word choice that you use um, could, could make or break any situation. 
And I think it's really important that we just start off with this explanation, as simple as it is, sponsoring is done by the agent. Okay, that's done by the real estate agent, the exit associate, and then the recruiting part, the actual hiring process is done by that broker owner. And it's important to remember that. Nobody wants to hear the words recruit because it just feels like something that someone's coming after them to try to force them to, to do something that maybe that they don't want it. So we want to make sure that that number uh, or that, that word is reserved for our managing brokers and uh, that's what they use. So let's look at this really quick. The first couple of slides you got are going to be kind of uh, textual in the sense that we're going to go through some of the very basics, kind of the more fundamental policy procedure stuff. So it might be a little boring to start off with, but I assure you it's going to get much better. So let's talk about some of these things really quick here. What is sponsoring? Uh, a lot of agents come into our company and they fall in love with the broker, they fall in love with the office, or they just love this idea of making residual income. And they say, well, what is the process? Well, it's called sponsoring. We sponsor, we invite people and introduce them to our company. Sponsoring is just that assistance program where we help the managing broker, the franchisee, invite people into the company. We're and I'll let you watch the rest of this. I have a link uh, on the broker page um, on the in the resource center. Go all the way down to the bottom of your resource center and click on the sponsoring process. And that's what I have for you today. Um, I'm glad you joined in. I'm going to have a copy of this sent out to everybody. Give me your feedback on what you think and saw, and I will talk to you later.